Hello and um, welcome back. So today's video is for Scrap Timber Day 4, which is a scrap lift. And for my scrap lift, I am going to lift this layout of my friend Sarah Davis. Uh, lots of different circles. I'm using this picture of Little O with his Uncle Alex. And Vicky Booten, where to next? I have also cut some smaller pictures, printed and cut some smaller pictures, and done them as circles as well to use as some of the circles up the page. Um, my iPad battery's gone, so I was going to use that to refer to. So, yeah, I thought with some of the other like pattern circles, I might put in. A couple of photos so I might end up with just using like these so using three maybe considering the size of the page I should have really printed the layout because my phone will keep going to sleep <laughs> um, so yeah like that, something like that. Um, I've got this stencil from Bramble Fox out. So it's number 34. And then these stencils from Vicky Booten. Lots of different circles. Some pattern circles. And I've got my AK Success Confetti Punch. I think Circle's going to have to involve this one <laughs> somewhere. And then we'll see where else we go from there. Right, let's... Um... Oh, wait a minute before we get scrapping. I've got these oxides out. So... They're the oxides that coordinate with where to next. Right, let's get scrapping. So this layout in total took me about an hour, or just over an hour. Um, so I would start by using, I think it was mustard seed, abandoned coral, pine needles, and broken china. Good old squeaky chair there. Um, and I'm just first of all doing one square each in those four oxides, the stress oxides. I then look to like overlapping and blending some circles. So just to add more circles basically. <laughs> um, I like them blending as well and uh, just giving you know different tones and shades and colours. I'm trying to not, you know, make brown. So I do avoid mixing the red and the green together. <laughs> um, and I'm just using the different circles on those different um, templates. Stencils, that's the word, stencils. <laughs> to build up the colours and build up the um, pattern on the page and the different blending. Um, so I'm bringing green up there but I'm overlapping it with the yellow and the blue and keeping it off the red. I've gone and washed the stencil to then take the same circles but using different colours with each size this time up the page just so that you know the circles are coming down the middle and I've got I'm not using the same colour for each size circle each time um, and just adding, adding more circles and just building up those layers of colour. Um, this circle template from Vicky Booten is quite handy with, um, they're all, you know, the same size circle on this one, but it's just a case of um, masking off so that, so something where you've got a pattern that's so close together like this and you're wanting to do some colour. I was just showing you there, I've gone and made a rookie mistake and pick the yellow blending tool up for 
the green um, so with regular stress inks you can mix them um, it doesn't contaminate the pads but with distress oxides it does so I've had to go and get a new foam pad for the yellow because I've picked it up and used it in the green by mistake um, so yeah just building up the colour and now because I'm, I'm, I'm done with my solid colours um, I've swapped the ink pads over to the second set of colours that I've got um, I'm just dripping water oh, with distress oxides when it gets wet the water reacts and you end up with you know different colours oxidises the ink um, so I just squeezed some water into my hands there and dropped it onto the ink which then I pick up pick the water up with a, a paper towel and you've got those splots on the circles um, I'm now coming in with this patterned um, circle template again masking off the pattern I don't want so I don't accidentally uh, go over into the next pattern along and this is dried marigold that I'm doing this one in like I said I've, I've swapped over for the second colours for each one um, so I've gone from mustard seed to dried marigold and going from abandoned coral to festive berries um, to do the patterned ones so I'm just doing that wheel there I've just clean them off as well because I've not cleaned them last time I used them um, with the green I go from pine needles to peeled paint and then the blue I go from broken china to blueprint sketch I really liked blueprint sketch because it's it's kind of the colour of Alex's top in the in the the photos so that kind of led in my choice of, of set to use collection to use for this uh, and you know the fact that blueprint sketch had to feature in it as well um, I'm just changing color now so this is the peeled paint with a different pattern so each color on um, the on the pattern circles has each color has a different pattern and I'm now using this older um, segmented wheel for the blueprint sketch and I know I've already got a segmented wheel on there but this is slightly different to the one I've used the red with so you can see the segments are chunkier um, and they come closer into the middle as well tighter into the middle than the red one did so and the different size ones as well so I do vary the size up on this as well which ones I use um, with the blueprint sketch and then after those colours I go and get the black soot out and instead of mark making so I was going to do use my black pen and do some mark making so instead of mark making I decide to um, actually use this stencil that's got the marks in in the circular pattern oh I'll go and get the other uh, photos because I had five printed originally um, I'd only included three when I, I started to plan the layout out um, but then I've decided actually the way the circles have gone and the gaps between circles or five pictures would actually fit and I think that looks a lot better with the more pictures and um, with how I've arranged the circles as well so yeah instead of doing mark making with a pen I've used this Vicky Booten circle uh, circle stencil which has got patterns which look like the kind of thing you would use when you're mark making the kind of patterns you would do with mark making the little crosses and dots and dashes so I just thought it it would work really well um, with those faux marks um, so yeah just using it in the black soot ink coming off the um, cir colourful circles and again I'm using the um, stencil tape paint, painter's tape oh my gosh what do you call it can't remember masking tape to cover the bits of the pattern I don't want to accidentally go over so yeah so that's all the inking I believe um, and then I said I was going to use this paper um, start with the one inch punch which is a little not quite right um, a little bit too big I think I've got three quarter inch punch there or I've gone from three quarters to one inch I can't remember um, I then use a much smaller punch to do little circles out of this and I've got my box of circle punches there and you can see I've brought over and I'm just going through different size punches just to punch some of these circles out I don't use everything I've punched out 
um, but I you know I use the smaller ones and and the the next size up ones is kind of a bit of confetti around the page I don't have them all you know going into the page I do tuck some of these in some of the big like the big blue and the big green one that are off the edge of the page I do get them tucked under a photo so yeah I'm just going and punching the circles I think I might use the ones I can get to with the punch <laughs> um, you know I do use a big chunk of this paper quite a bit of it um, the circle confetti punch I do cut some of the blue polka dot paper with that which I actually end up not using um, but that I've put that in the little ephemera pouch on this collection I've now pulled out my Hey Little Magpie flare that coordinate with this collection and the Hey Little Magpie principles so the little tickets and things um, I use a circular one of the tabs um, the labels that's it to put the date on um, and then here I am just some of those circles that I've cut off the edge of the page um, just using them tucks under the photos now with the foam pad with the biggest picture I do double up you know how I like different layers and different heights so I double up on the biggest I then use one layer on the other four pictures um, and then I've got you know all the the inking is the the stenciling is the the flat layer on on the back of the page and then the paper um, the you know paper embellishments is, is a flat layer you've then got also height and dimension with the flare and the chipboard that I use so we have got lots of different layers not just layering color but also different heights on on embellishments etc um, I really love these thickers from this collection from where to next I might have to see if Sarah's still got these in stock so I might need another set of these um, so title's going to be tickle time I'm just there gauging how high up to put the letters where I've, I've moved the E to begin with under that little photo and then moved it back to the end it's just to make sure I'm leaving enough room to get them all across I then want a different font for the time and I pull out my absolute all-time favourite um, thickers which are these from Fernwood and I have three or four sets of these because they just I'm so worried about running out <laughs> um, so I already had three sets and then Sarah had them in sale so I bought another set as well <laughs> um, I absolutely love them they're my favourite and you can colour them with anything um, I have in the past used um, the gold watercolour on them um, this time I actually get my deco time crafts um, aqua markers out um, and I just colour them like you would with a felt tip or a, a um, pro marker alcohol pen I'm just testing whether I want the metallic end or the flat end um, on the back of an embellishment there uh, back of a piece of ephemera um, I have gone for the non-metallic end and uh, please don't look too closely <laughs> at my colouring in I am not very good I think I've mentioned this before I'm not very good at colouring within the lines my hand-eye coordination is terrible um, and as much as I love tennis my hand-eye coordination means I can't play <laughs> um, so yeah um, although I did occasionally hit the ball in rounders when I was little I used to be on the school rounders team <laughs> um, so I'm just adding now some flair and some of those paper cutouts this chipboard moves and I actually looking at the finished layout now um, where I've placed that chipboard heart there where I was really happy with it um, I doesn't get glued there um, we are quite close to the end now so I'm about two minutes left um, and the camera battery actually ran out just before I finished I was just gluing it down when I ran out of battery um, all I'd added to it after the battery went off is my lines for my journaling which is going under tickle time and, and down to that yellow chipboard um, please you know, don't forget to like and if you're not already subscribed to channel subscribe check out the playlist it's in the description for the rest of scrap timber um, and the Facebook group I'll have the link for that in there you can see the prompts for all month there um, but yeah just you know dotting some of these um, I, 
they look like tops and umbrellas to me. Segmented circles, uh, dotting them around as confetti around on the page. And then I just start sticking things down. I do actually have to change the Tombow. I finally come to the end of this bottle. I've been using it for about 18 months. <laughs> um, so go and get a new a new bottle. It's a momentous thing changing my Tombow because I don't get a new bottle out very often. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah just gluing everything down and then the video will abruptly end um i have got some stills at the end for you oh, you see there i have glued that circle back in a different place i hadn't noticed until editing the video it's gone back somewhere different but i like it there it's okay there um again thanks for watching and i will see you tomorrow um i might start doing less frequent videos for scrap timber because it's hard to stay on top of take care bye